What if understanding one process could be key to fighting cancer? Let's delve into the Warburg effect, a pivotal discovery by German physiologist Otto Warburg in the 1920s. This phenomenon reveals that cancer cells, unlike normal cells, predominantly use glycolysis to produce energy even when there's plenty of oxygen available. Typically, cells would opt for oxidative phosphorylation in the mitochondria, which is more efficient. This seemingly counterintuitive choice by cancer cells has profound implications for their growth and survival. To understand the Warburg effect, let's first look at how normal cells process energy. In the bustling factory of the cell, glucose, a simple sugar, is taken in and transported to the mitochondria, the cell's powerhouse. Here, through a process known as oxidative phosphorylation, glucose is converted into pyruvate, which then enters the mitochondria. Once inside, it undergoes a series of complex reactions that ultimately generate up to 36 molecules of ATP, the cell's primary energy currency. Now, let's shift our focus to cancer cells. These cells take an alternative route. Instead of sending pyruvate into the mitochondria, they convert it into lactate right in the cytoplasm. This process, known as glycolysis, is much quicker but far less efficient, producing only two molecules of ATP per molecule of glucose. Despite being less efficient, why then do cancer cells adopt this rapid energy production method? Let's dive deeper. Cancer cells thrive on rapid growth, which demands quick energy solutions. Now, let's delve into why these cells heavily favor glycolysis, a less efficient yet faster energy-producing process. Firstly, the rapid production of energy is crucial. Cancer cells divide and grow at an astonishing rate, far surpassing that of normal cells. Glycolysis, despite generating only two molecules of ATP per glucose molecule, does so much more swiftly than oxidative phosphorylation, which churns out 36 ATPs but at a leisurely pace. This speed allows cancer cells to meet their energy demands almost instantaneously, supporting their rapid proliferation. Secondly, the intermediates produced during glycolysis are not merely byproducts, they are vital building blocks. These intermediates divert into biosynthetic pathways that manufacture nucleotides, amino acids and lipids, essential components for building new cells. This redirection is crucial for cancer cells as they constantly construct new cellular machinery to sustain their growth and division. Lastly, the shift from pyruvate to lactate production in cancer cells isn't just about energy. This transformation leads to the acidification of the surrounding environment. An acidic microenvironment aids cancer in several ways. It promotes invasion into adjacent tissues, facilitates metastasis to distant organs, and crucially impairs the immune system's ability to fight the tumor effectively. Each of these factors not only supports cancer cell survival, but also contributes to aggressive cancer progression. The Warburg effect is not just about survival, it's about thriving in hostile conditions. This unusual metabolic pathway allows cancer cells to meet their high energy needs swiftly. By converting glucose into lactate, rather than undergoing the slower process of oxidative phosphorylation, cancer cells can produce ATP rapidly. This quick energy production is vital as it fuels the rapid growth and division that are hallmarks of cancer. Essentially, cancer cells are in a race against time and the Warburg effect gives them the speed they need. Moreover, many tumors exist in poorly oxygenated environments. Traditional energy production methods that rely on oxygen would fail under these conditions. However, by utilizing glycolysis, which does not require oxygen, cancer cells can continue to grow and multiply even when oxygen is scarce, effectively adapting to hypoxic conditions. Additionally, the acidic environment created by lactate production plays a crucial role in helping cancer cells evade the immune system. This acidity can inhibit the function of immune cells, preventing them from effectively attacking the tumor. This metabolic flexibility gives cancer cells a sinister advantage. Understanding the Warburg effect is not just academic, it's a gateway to potential cancer treatments. As researchers delve deeper into this phenomenon, a promising area of focus has been the targeting of glycolytic pathways in cancer cells. This approach involves developing drugs that can inhibit key enzymes involved in glycolysis, effectively starving the cancer cells of their primary energy source. Such interventions aim to disrupt the rapid energy production that these cells rely upon for growth and survival. Furthermore, the exploration of cancer cell metabolism has revealed specific vulnerabilities that can be exploited for therapeutic purposes.
by understanding how these cells adapt their metabolic pathways to thrive. Researchers are able to design targeted therapies. These therapies are crafted to specifically attack the metabolic quirks of cancer cells, leaving healthy cells largely unaffected. This precision not only promises higher efficacy, but also reduced side effects compared to traditional chemotherapy. Another exciting development is the combination of metabolic therapies with immunotherapy. This strategy seeks to enhance the effectiveness of immune-based treatments by altering the metabolic environment of tumors. Since the acidic conditions created by glycolysis can suppress immune function, adjusting the tumor's metabolism could potentially make immunotherapy more effective, providing a one-two punch against cancer growth and spread. By disrupting the metabolic strategies of cancer cells, new treatments are on the horizon. This innovative approach could lead to more effective and less toxic cancer therapies, significantly impacting how we treat this challenging disease. The Warburg effect is a cornerstone of our understanding of cancer metabolism. As we've explored today, this phenomenon is not just a footnote in the annals of science, but a beacon that lights the way toward potentially groundbreaking treatments for cancer. By favoring glycolysis, even in the presence of oxygen, cancer cells adopt an unusual metabolic pathway that supports their rapid growth and survival under harsh conditions. This shift allows them not only to produce energy quickly, but also to build essential components and create an environment conducive to their proliferation and evasion of the immune system. The implications of understanding and potentially disrupting this metabolic flexibility are profound. Targeting the Warburg effect could lead to therapies that starve cancer cells of their energy source, exploit their metabolic vulnerabilities, and enhance the effectiveness of existing treatments, including immunotherapy. This ongoing research is crucial. Each discovery not only brings us closer to innovative treatments, but also deepens our overall understanding of cancer biology. Stay curious and keep pushing the boundaries of science. Thank you for joining us in unraveling the complexities of cancer metabolism.